Hi everyone, this is Ayana, your resident health and wellness coach, and my business is Thrive and Be Whole. It's good to see you, and I hope you're having a fantastic, wonderful day, and I hope that you're um, out either enjoying some lunch or taking a little pause in your day to reflect. Whatever is going on with you, I hope that you're doing it to the fullest. Um, I'm here just taking a little break from work to bring you a message that was on my heart today that I re felt really compel compelled to share. Um, and that message is about giving yourself permission to feel sad or to feel angry or to, to feel whatever emotions are on your heart. And, you know, sometimes we have a tendency to be really hard on ourselves um, and to make ourselves, you know, when we start to feel negative emotions, there's a tendency for us to say, no, you know what, I really want to feel the good stuff. Or we don't even want to go there. We don't want to get deep with the, with the negative emotions that we're feeling. So we have a tendency to want to try and get back to fine. Um, and I'm here to tell you, to give you a little insight into my own personal uh, struggle today and why this is so much on my heart. For those of you who've been watching my videos or if you know me personally, then you know that my mom is currently on hospice care. She has an illness called Huntington's disease and it is a genetic fatal condition that there's currently no cure for. And my mom is at a very late stage of it. Um, and so, you know, it's been a long road. It's been years and years and years of me taking care of her and me um, supporting her and you know learning about Huntington's disease and you know we went from you know just trying to figure out like what is this thing that's going on with my mom to okay how can we support her and how can we support ourselves and and as you can imagine there's been a lot of pain and struggle involved in being a caregiver um, and now my mom's at the point where unfortunately she's coming to the end of her life and yesterday I took um, a self-care day and a day to just spend time with her. And she and I spent hours and hours together and it was great. Although it was really, um, it was both a combination of feeling really wonderful and just like, you know, having that quality time with her was excellent. But it was also very saddening as well as you can imagine. Um, and yesterday my dad and I were told um, definitively that she probably only has a couple weeks to month, month and a half left. As you can imagine, that's really devastating news. And for everyone who's been there before and felt that and, you know, knows the, the pain of grieving or losing somebody that you care about or love, a family member, friend, loved one, um, you know, acquaintance, that pain of loss is very real. And um, especially when it comes to a parent, it's, it can be very devastating. And so I've had some days where I've woken up and felt, oh, just so much on my heart like I don't even want to get out of bed I don't even want to get get moving and today was one of those days and so I, I was very inspired this morning to share a message about how I felt in that moment because there was a time in my life where I used to feel really bad and used to feel um, you know it was a sense of pride for me to try and power through those moments it was a sense of pride for me to try and, you know, if I was feeling sadness, to try and act like I wasn't. To try and downplay it and say, oh, no, I'm fine. I got this. I can do this. Let me get dressed and go and, um, and take care of business and, and do what I need to do. It was a source of pride. And I think in our society, that's become one of the ways that we measure whether or not we're strong is by the actions that we take or how we soldier through pain. Now, it's a really... If you're able to soldier through pain on some occasions, that's fantastic. I am as well sometimes, and, and, and sometimes it's required. Sometimes there are needs that you absolutely have to take care of. I have kids, and they absolutely need me and have no idea, don't understand what's going on with my mom, and they need me. Hi, hello, thank you for the love. And so it can be a really difficult, um, complicated thing when you are in that state and feeling like you can't always just lay down on the bed and cover yourself under the pillows the way that you want to. But, you know, sometimes we feel as though doing that means that we are somehow weak and there's somehow something wrong with us. And I'm here to tell you, really lighten that burden for yourself. We are all human. We are all a part of this human experience. Someone else is having a human experience right now with the sirens, and I hope they're okay. But that it's part of our healing and it's part of our healing process to go through pain and to grieve and to mourn. Nobody in our, no one in our world, no human being is immune from pain and immune 
from heartache and grieving and, and mourning. It's just a part of the human experience. And so if we allow ourselves to just kind of roll with the punches and feel how we feel and take the time that we need to really, to let ourselves just go to that low place, even though it's scary, but I promise that there's healing on the other side of that. And I've been through this now a couple of times with, with deep loss. This, is, this will be the first time that I'm losing a parent, so it's a, it's a different level of loss for me. But it, when we allow ourselves to, to, to grieve and go to that scary place, we learn so much more when we come out of the other side of it. We do eventually return to, to feel again into the sunlight. You know, I've had some moments where I felt so numb and just so hurt and just like, oh, how am I ever going to get through this? But I know that if I continue to push through, I know that if I just allow myself to feel what I'm feeling and being authentic with myself, that I will come out of this a stronger, better person with some incredible life lessons. My mom is amazing and she has taught me so much. And another thing that helps too is being grateful for all of the interactions and all of the lessons that I've learned from our relationship. You know, I actually heard Eckhart Tolle, who's this phenomenal writer and, and kind of like, oh God, what, what, what would I say about, I forgot exactly what his title is, but Eckhart Tolle, he's just this like, uh, he's always coming out with this philosophical stuff and he has these great books and he talks about death and he says that death is not real. You know, it's not real. And it, it's not real in the sense that, of course, we actually, we pass on and we move away, but that... Um, What's real is the connection that we have to each other. What's real is that love. What's real is the lasting impression that that situation had on you and how it changed your life and influenced you. All of that is real. All of that stuff is real and lasting. And that's what we need to cherish and, and, and find our way back to focus on. And I know it's hard and I know it's rough, but if you can feel your feelings authentically, not try to soldier through and act like I'm a badass who just doesn't feel any feelings. But if you can allow yourself to just go with the pain, you know, do whatever you need to do in that exact moment, then ultimately you will grow and you will learn so much from it. And so do I want my mom to pass? Absolutely not. <laughs> if I could wave my magic wand, <laughs> if I were God, if, if I had, if I could pull puppet strings, I would be pulling a ton of puppet strings right now to make this not happen. But I do know that none of us are guaranteed here to stay. I've accepted the fact that this is just a part of the human experience and it lessens my suffering. And one final thing I want to say about that, you know, I, I found like this, there's this awesome phenomenal quote that, you know, really keeping in mind when we're going through our own pain, but pain is inevitable in life, but our suffering is optional. And the difference between the pain and the suffering is I felt pain this morning. I felt like, man, I don't even want to get out of bed. I was so like, I rolled out of bed 10 minutes before I needed to leave the house. But where the suffering is different is suffering is, comes from the messages that we tell ourselves about this, this situation. It is painful to lose a loved one. It is painful to lose a relationship. It is painful to, you know, insert your life situation there. It's painful to have a physical disability. It's, all of these things are painful, but our suffering comes from what we tell ourselves about those situations. Okay, now that's not to make you, if you are suffering in this moment, it's not to make you feel bad. That's also part of the human experience. Sometimes we have to be in that negative state. But just remember, you do have more power over the situation than you think you do. And the only reason right now why I'm not like totally incapable of functioning is because I don't have the, the I'm not playing the head games with myself that I used to play. I used to feel a lot of guilt and shame around my relationship with my mom. I used to feel a lot of, oh, I'm not a good enough daughter. Or I'm not this, I'm not that. And, and it took years for me to work through that. But those learning those lessons, has changed my life completely. So do I feel pain? Absolutely. But I also feel a sense of, I've worked on myself, I've worked on healing some of these issues, and I know that, that I'm not bringing shame or guilt to the equation that's adding on and piling on more unnecessary suffering that makes me feel hopeless. So I'm sad for sure, but I do know that my mom is gonna be always with me no matter what. And I know that I will get through it. And when I have those moments where I feel like just being under the bed, <laughs> or I feel like grabbing some wine, cool. That's what I need in that moment. And so I hope that you take 
my story and my current pain, not my suffering, <laughs> that you learn a lesson and, and get some you know, information out of this that can help you with your own painful moments in life, even if you're not in a moment that's painful. Um, because pain, again, it's inevitable. We all have to go through it. I thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna get back to being productive. Okay, hi Mika. <laughs> And um, hi, Kat. Hi, Cesar. So I just, I hope that uh, that you take those words and that that can give you some peace or at least something to think about in your own situation. Um, and once again, if you are interested in health and wellness coaching, I really love to support people who have a tendency to put other people's needs before their own. Hmm, not sure if you know anyone like that. So just hit me up if you're, ever, if you're interested and I can tell you more about health coaching and wellness coaching and the packages I offer. All right. Oh, and if you're looking for more free content, go to my website, thriveandbehold.com. Bye, guys.